It was a real mess. City workers had their hands full cleaning up the old armory building in Norfolk, the result of last night's blaze. Officials say it took firefighters about six hours to put it out. Ironically, the building contains stacks of clothes, food, and other items for fire victims. Richard Hassel is in charge of the building, as well as Christian Action, the organization that donates clothes and food to the needy. He first heard the news from the Norfolk Fire Department. I got down there, all that blaze and smoke and fire engines Indian, down there. I was really up, up, up excited. And that all I done could do is cry. I said, Lord, why did it happen to me? I'm the man to give, folks. Hassel estimates the fire destroyed about $2,000 worth of clothing, food, and furniture. The warehouse, a total loss. Now, not only is Hassel out of those items, he's out of a place for them as well. I'm hoping that somebody can let me use the garage or in the backyard or wherever now because this is a needed time. I've been helping others, now I need help. Four years ago, Norfolk gave Hassel the building to use. He hopes the city can help him again. Norfolk City Manager Julian Hurst was at the scene today. I doubt that we'll find another place that would work as good as this for him, but we'll, we'll work with him. City maintenance workers have been working non-stop to clear out the inside of the building, but they say there's so much debris, it'll take them at least two days to do a thorough job. Among those items that were burned, food for 35 needy families that Richard Hassel was going to donate for Thanksgiving. In Norfolk, Penny Williams, The Daily News. When the old Norfolk Armory on Princess Anne Road was destroyed by fire Sunday night, more was lost than just a building. Ironically, food, clothing, furniture, and other goods for fire victims burned up. The Christian Action Organization had been using the building as its warehouse. The group had been storing the food to provide 275 disadvantaged families with Thanksgiving dinner. Now it appears the group will have a bountiful supply of food thanks to public donations at a booth in Military Circle and here at the Bank of the Commonwealth. CAO President Richard Hassel stopped by the bank to pick up turkeys, canned ham, and other staples donated by Navy Composite Squadron 6, bank patrons, and employees. Once the goods were loaded into the truck, Hassel started deliveries to families. Reflecting on the fire, he says he just can't believe the tremendous amount of public support he's received. I'm very thankful of the public that has come in with me to help me this particular Thanksgiving. And I think that uh, I'll be able to serve those 275 families. For those on the receiving end, a holiday dinner will grace their tables. And I thank Lord for it, because uh, uh, a lot of times you, have, you don't have the means you know, to, uh, to uh, sufficient to feed your family and everything like, like you, you want to and everything, see. In Norfolk, Ava Hurdle, The Daily News.